setting new standards in podcast excellence. You have joined the WBT, fully focused on business and taxes. Here is your host, Michael Lodge. And welcome to the WBT. This is Michael Lodge. And yesterday, we sat down together and we talked about doing budgets for your small business or for medium-sized businesses or even large businesses. Doing the budget is very important, and I must stress this. That way you can plan out and you can set objectives of what you want to do for the next year. Right now in in October is the time that you should be sitting down with your accountant. Well, call me and I'll do it. I'll work with you through it. But you need to know how to do the budget and plan. Look at your risks. Look at your cash flow and what you will be able to do okay it's vital it's vital so i will give you my phone number at the end of this and i will tell you and uh you'll be able to call in and set up an appointment with me we can do it over the phone or i can go to you if you're in south carolina i can do it if you're in california i have staff that we can do it but listen it's vital that you do it but the other issue that I want to talk about, and I've done several broadcasts on this before, <clears throat> especially for those of you who are starting a business, I did a whole series on starting a business podcast. And the one thing that I want each of you to really think about and take some time to do is understanding your financial statements. Because every year, every month, your bookkeeper or your accountant should be preparing financial statements based upon the performance of your company. And so accurately tracking financial data is not only a is only critical for running the day-to-day operations of your small business. But it is also essential when seeking funding from lenders or investors to take your business to that next level. You need to be able to understand your financial statement and be able to tell the story of what's happening on that financial statement. And the only way to do that is to, one, prepare your budgets, and then secondly, when you're actually preparing the actual financial data, You need to be able to tell the story and understand what is happening at that time. You need to know that. So in addition, keeping tabs on your financials and on your finances of the company can help ensure your products and services are priced right. Identify what your margins are and determine your cash flow and make your filing of taxes a lot easier. Let me tell you how I normally get the financial information from my clients. And I hate this more than anything because I try and try to tell them you need to be giving giving us that data on a monthly basis, not at the end of the year. So I get a stack of bank statements And I have to go line by line down each one and enter them into a bookkeeping system, determining what buckets they should go into. So throughout the whole year, these people do not know how they performed until I prepare the year-end financial statement and tax return. I find that bad business management. It's really bad. You need to know how you're performing. You need to be able to read your balance sheet. You need to be able to read your income statement. And you need to be able to read your statement of cash flow. That's just three items that you need to be responsible for. So I want to talk about the balance sheet first, okay? So that you understand the the basic principles. So the balance sheet... And it's a statement that comes out of the accounting software. Provides an overall financial snapshot 
of your small business. As an equation, there's an equation to look at. It looks like liabilities plus owner's equity equals assets. The two sides of the equation must balance out. Assets must always equal liabilities. There are two types of assets, current and fixed. Current assets include cash and other holdings that can quickly be converted to cash within a year. These may include inventory, prepaid expenses, and accounts receivable, machinery, equipment, land, buildings, furniture, and other essentials that you are not planning to sell right now are considered fixed assets. And then you look at the liability side. So we, we just talked about the asset side. Now we're going to look at the liability sides. And that can be broken down into current or short-term liabilities, such as accounts payable, which you owe people, taxes that you owe, and long-term debt such as bank loans or notes payable to, to stockholders. So let's say if you had a, a car loan or a vehicle loan, that's where you would see that. It's a debt. Owner's equity includes any invested capital or retained earnings. So invested capital means money that you put into the company. Retained earnings means all of the prior year net income plus this year's current income. And I always like to see those two lines separate. If you captured all of your accounting information correctly, both sides of the balance sheet should be equal. They should balance. So, and that's what you want to know is by, because the balance sheet really tells the story of your company. The income statement or the profit and loss statement is kind of the scorecard of what you're doing on a month-to-month -month basis. And what I like to do with my clients is I like to print out a pull across which shows January, February, March, April, May, all of the months side by side. And then I like to scrub it with my client. What happened here? What is this? How come, how come I see rent in one month and then it skips two months? We need to ask those questions. They might not have given us all of the information that we need. Well, they're not paying their bills. But it still needs to be accrued. So a profit and loss statement, and, and you also can, it's called an income statement, basically, enables you to project sales and expenses and typically covers a period of a few months to a year. We do the same thing on budgeting. We put together an income statement so that we know exactly where we stand during the course of the year. But then when we actually do the actuals, what we call the actuals, the real numbers that, that actually happened during that month, then we can see exactly how well we performed against the budget. So to, to determine the net profit, subtract total operating expenses from gross profit. Gross profit, total operating expenses equals net profit. So you have all of your revenue coming in, all of your sales, all of your income. Then below that you will have your expenses. Sometimes we call them SG&A or general and administrative expenses. Then you subtract the the income minus the expenses, and that gets you down to your net income. That net income is what's telling you what you're doing for that month. Are you making money or are you losing money? It's vital that you understand what's happening month to month. If you're not asking that question, then you're not managing your business well. If you're only looking at your bank statement and, and you see that there's cash there, that's really sad because you need to know why or what happened to get you to that cash level. So you must, and I, I've done several of my podcasts on this because I really want you to understand if you're operating a small business, you need to know 
how you got to the point of your net income. What happened? What happened with your sales? Did your sales go up or did you lose a lot of sales? Why? You need to be asking those questions and you can do that by looking at your income statement and your balance sheet. Then you have your cash flow statement. And this this statement highlights how much money is coming into what we call cash inflows and going out of your business. Cash inflows include cash sales, accounts receivable, collectibles, collections, loans, and other investments. Equipment purchase, expenses paid, inventory, and other payments are considered cash outflows. So you need to be able to see that. But I always want you to understand your balance sheet the most because that's telling you how much money you owe, how much debt you have on there. If you have on the balance sheet, you're going to have an accounts receivable line. If you have accounts receivable that's sitting more than 60, 90, 120 days old, you have a problem because you're not collecting. And you better get on it because that's cash sitting there. And the only way you'll know that is how? Not by memory. Because memory goes very quickly. You need to be able to read your balance sheet and see what's happening. And you need to be able to talk to your people. Why are we not collecting from these people? And then the other side is accounts payable on the liability side. Why is it that we're not paying our bills? Because you don't have enough cash flow coming in because you didn't collect. And you can see this on your balance sheet. It's a vital statement that you, as a business owner, need to understand fully. You need to be able to ask the questions on why things are happening. So now we have talked about the budgeting process, and now we've talked about understanding your income statement, balance sheet, and statement of cash flows. In order to manage business well, you need to think more clearly by understanding the information that's being given to you by your accountant. Do not wait until the end of the year to produce your financial statement. I hate that more than anything. That is telling me that you have not been paying attention to what is going on in your business. I'm telling you, most clients, small businesses... Only look at their bank statement. How much money do I have in the bank? That's all that they look at. But they ask no questions as to why other things are happening within their business. And it's vital that you do that. I'm telling you that the really smart people who understand financial statements know how to lead their companies better. They know how to do it much faster, much better. They know how to do the analysis in their head. Once people start understanding the balance sheet, they are thinking about that all the time in their income statement. And they want more data. Once you get that data, you want more data to see exactly what you can do better. So if you need help, and if you need a firm that can help you, Just call my number, which is a toll-free number from anywhere in the United States. It's 888-681-1518. Let me give that to you again. 888-681-1518. And we will return your phone call and we will start getting you set up. But don't wait until the last minute. Now, my firm... We specialize in small business. We, we specialize in helping companies get more organized on their financial results. We've been doing this for a long time. I have been doing this since 1984. Now that ages me, doesn't it? But I, that's when I first started my firm and companies began to hire me to go out and be their contracted controller or CFO. So I know financials forwards and backwards. But I don't want just me to know. I want you to know. If you have any questions, just send me an email at mlodge at lodge-co.com or call our toll-free number at 818-681-1518 and we will try to work with you 
and get you more organized and so that you understand the profit and loss statement of your income of your of your business. I love small businesses because they're very imaginative and they're always looking at new ways to improve their business. So let's try this. Let's you and I start understanding the financial statements of your company. And let's get that data organized. And let's get it so that we can make better decisions on how to run your company. If you have any questions, you know where to get me. Thanks for listening to me this morning or evening or whenever you're listening to me. But let's start really focusing as small businesses on how to read our financial statements. I'll talk with you later. Make a million. This is brought to you by Lodge & Co., a business and tax advisory firm where your success is our goal. Call us today toll-free at 888-681-1518 or visit us at www.lodge-co.com and learn more about what we can do for you. Lodge & Co., your source for sound business and tax services. Thank you for listening to The WBT with Michael Lodge. Join us again tomorrow as we explore more about business and taxes. Follow us on iHeartRadio and go to our podcast website at www.wbtpod.com and listen to all of our podcasts and read our blogs.